and welcome back to the mad world. This is hi hi 7 saying if you missed out on 4th of July then <laughs> Happy 4th of July everybody. A bit late on that, but either way. So, since last time I done a couple of modifications to the island as you can see from the little mini map on the top right. We have, I extended the place out a little bit. I built this little area for one of the mods that we will be going into today. And I extended the garden and rearranged a couple of things. So this here will be our food. Oh, shut up, nether portal. You're never going to shut up. So this will be our food area where we will get stuff to eat. This is our magical crops area, which look at all these lovely little things that have finally grown. This is the fire, here are the wire seeds sweating a little bit, here are the dye seeds that are changing colors, which represents every color in the game, coal essence, air essence, and earth essence, and here's our regular essence. Over here we have our little berry bush area, they are currently growing blueberries, and I don't have any other kinds right now, and then here's our tree farm right here, so that will be all, and here's a little chest with a bunch of stuff that I will... Actually, I could do that. I could do this right now. So, do that. Two, three, four. So, let's see. Um, let's pick this up. So, here are the recipe crafting recipes for um a bigger chest for the iron chest mod. You surround a chest or a normal chest or a picked up chest from using your force wrench and surround it with iron, you get an iron chest. And then if you surround that with gold, then you get a golden chest. And what that does is when you plonk it down, you get an extremely bigger chest. So we have plenty of space for harvesting all of these. So let's do that right now. There we go. Oh, full inventory already. So let's get rid of that, 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 that. Alrighty, let's pick up the rest. Now, there, I believe it's a 10% chance for you to get another seed, and also it's a 10% chance of you getting a weak essence, which is made up of the, the little essences. So, it's a really rare chance, but it's still cool. So, let's grab all the seeds, and let's replant them quickly, just in any random order. Die, coal essence we're going to be needing a lot of these fire earth and i believe that's all all right so today in this episode we will be getting into um we will need to get a really really good sword because even though this four sword has damage five on it it's not really the best sword that we can use because there is something called a rapier that will continuously damage a lot will deal a lot of damage to an enemy at once and I really want to get that sword because it can be really really helpful but in order to do that we need to get steel in order to get steel we need to make something called an induction smelter in order to make an induction smelter we need a whole lot of crap so in the meantime that I've been off camera I've gathered all this stuff but I haven't put it together so I can show you what it is so first things first we will need a machine frame which will be this so, let's quickly make that. I have all the resources in my inventory. We got that. Let's see. Let's get the iron out. Alright, so next we need... Oh, wrong one. We need a redstone reception coil, which is that. Let's see. We need... We have all this. Oop. A little bit of a bug with NEI. And let's see, we need something called Invar. Now, Invar is a special kind of alloy that you can't just dig up out from the ground. In order to make it, you need to either make ferrous and use this minium stone, which I don't have at the moment, or you need to make this Invar blend, which is two iron dust and a pulverized ferrous metal. So in order to get those, you just put them through the grinder. Just I had a couple of ingots, and I put them through a grinder, and I got these iron dust. So two... And one, you get three iron blend. Let's go quickly cook these up. So, boom, boom, boom. Ooh, bunch of new stuff. There we go. Bunch of ores and whatnot. So, let's see. We got a bunch of invar ingots. And let's see. Oh, not that. Let's put those there. There we go. We have an induction smelter. Now, the crafting recipe for... Actually, hold on. Uh, let's put this here. Nope, that's not going to work. So... 
Let's move this to right over here, I say. Let's move the enchanter for now to back there. So in order to get um, some steel for us to work on, we will be needing this machine to create some RF first. We're going to need this machine to create some steel. So put that in there. That should be the recipe. Huh. Zero RF per tick. Ignore. There we go. Actually, wait. Yep, there it goes. There it goes. All right, so I'll turn all this to gray. Come on. There we go. Oh no. There we go. So it won't output into any strange area. So we have a bunch of power going in, and then come on now. All right, so we got our steel cooking. Alrighty, the next thing that we need to do now. Oh, I needed that. Um. Are you done? No, nope, not quite. So, there we go. So next thing, which is what the mod we're going into now, it's called Tinker's Construct. Um, we don't have anything really, uh, we have a couple of blueberries, so chuck them in there. So we have a crafting recipe. Remember last time I wanted to get some clay? Now this is the reason why. We need to make something called grout and a ton of it. So let's make all that. Put the invar back in there. So that's plenty of grout to work on for now. Let's reposition all these in here. So what grout does is when you cook them into these things, they will turn into seared bricks. Now seared bricks will turn into more seared bricks. And we're going to need, oop, got another book from that. But we're going to need a lot of steel bricks to, to put in this little area right here. Now, we, this mod called Tinker's Construct, we will be creating a multi-block structure called a smeltery, which is made up of these seared bricks. Now, let's see, let's go up in here. It's a really good thing that we have a really fast smelting system, although it runs out of coal really quickly. Let's put a couple coal blocks in there. Boom, boom. So we'll get more of these cooking. Let's see. Alright, so we got 11 for now. I can put most of those down now. Let's put them... Let's actually put them down here so we can have even more room. Yeah, there we go. Alright, hopefully I won't drown when I'm doing this. Come on. These here bricks actually do take a while. Uh, come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. Um, there we go. Whew! Nearly drowned. Alright, so... Yada yada. Yada yada yada, and remember, guys, all this is in, all this will be put forward into the ah. Uh... Okay, so vein mining really bad because you control yourself like that. Um. So. Four. Eh. Needs to be two out. Oh boy, so remember, whenever you're using the Vein Miners mod, just remember, keep in mind that don't do this while you're doing your stuff. So, anyway. And I broke my pick as well, so, grab that. Alrighty, alrighty. So, let's see now. I lost my train of thought because of that. Alright, so, we will put our stuff here. Oh yeah, by the way... The reason why I put this little thing around this specific area is, I'm not sure if you can actually see that, but if you see a little tiny little swirly thing really, really lightly, this is called an aura node, and this is going to be part of our new, another mod that we're going to get into now. And one of the things that you can't really do, unless you have this, unless you have Dark Craft installed, is that you can't really move these, except I have Dark Craft installed. So I'll shift, use that, oh, nearly fell into the water. And yeah, we have the ore node in our inventory. So for now, I guess we'll plonk it right here. So you can probably see a little better right here, just right there. Oh. All right, so um, let's get rid of this. Oh no, oh no, I'm going to lose a couple of things here. Unless I do this. All right, gather this, eh, whatever. It's only a couple lost. 
already filled that in. All right, so we're going to be making our multi-block structure right here. But in the meantime, that, that stuff is cooking for all the graph that we need. I will be needing a couple more things, so I believe I can just make them out all the wood that I have here. Dump that out. So what we're going to be needing is a couple of building materials and building stations and whatnot. You've already seen one of the things from Tinker's Construct called the crafting station right here. It has a special ability that you can leave stuff in there. But we also need a couple more things. So let's get a couple planks. Let's turn maybe half of them into that. Alright, do that. Do that. We'll get some blank patterns. We're going to need tons of them later. Alright, uh, whatever. So, first things first, we need a build parter, a part builder, blah blah. Uh, we're going to need another crafting table as well. We will make a tool station. We'll put these down here. Um, what else do we need? Um, I need an oak plank for a stencil table, and then I need a chest to make a pattern station or pattern chest so and I got in our books materials and you how nice all right okay come on okay come on silly me so anyway um let's see part builder goes down oh yeah these are on half slab so they might be floating for a little bit stencil table and then Tool station. We can upgrade the tool station into something better so we can have even more options. But for now, we're going to be making something called Rapier. So, the Rapier is a special weapon that relies on quick strikes to defeat foes. Natural abilities armor piercing, meaning you can go through any armor. So, if I encounter a zombie that's wearing diamond armor, a regular sword like this, a forest sword, would probably do maybe 0 to 1 damage on it. But with armor piercing with, for rapier, I will be able to just get through the armor and just quickly kill him. Quick strikes. For a forest sword, I can, I can attack maybe like once every second. For a rapier, you can attack as many times as you want as long as you can click that fast. With a charge boost... Um, I'm not exactly sure what that means. And the special ability is if you hold right click on it, you can actually jump back a little bit. So to avoid some damage if a zombie's charging at you. Low damage, low durability. Durability, nah. We're going to fix that with the materials that I'm going to build the sword out of. And damage, low? Nope. I'm going to fix that as well. So we have all this, all that. Um, stencil table. We will be making more of these patterns. We'll take that out. We're going to need a bunch of them, so stick that in there for now. Just for now. Alrighty, let's see. Um, let's eat some food while we're getting our stuff. There we go. Oh wow, ran out of coal already. Alright, so do that. Do that. Yada yada. And it should be actually enough to get us started. There we go. I actually don't need the corner bits. Maybe I'll add them later. Uh, let's see. We'll take two out. Oh! Poo. I just vein mined everything. Oh boy. Vein miner. Everybody. This is going to be a bit of a pain. Alright. So do that and that. And dig this out. As you can see, I haven't been playing this for a while, so I keep making the same stupid mistakes. Alright, so there, 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 and one here. And I guess I'll leave those two for the next two parts. Um, oh, probably shouldn't have done all that. Alright, um, we will need more... One level too high. We will need more coal. Ah, uh, I'm running out of coal now. <laughs> oh boy. We need to get that, f that essence farm up and running really quickly. Or get more seeds. Because I can actually grow everything that I need on this island. So. Let's see. What do I need out of these? I need a faucet. I will need a controller. 
So controller, I need a bit of glass. Let's see, I need a bit of glass. That would be probably in my ME system. I hear skeletons somewhere. That's strange. All right, singular blueberry, bit of glass. There we go. We got our tank. And then next. I think that should be fine. Or actually, we can grab this. We can grab this and this. We will make a smeltery, smeltery drain to pour the liquids out. All the liquid alloys and smelted stuff. And I will make more in a later date. So first things first, we will plunk down the controller and then we will put down our sear tank. There we go. Now, if the way that you can tell that this is correctly made is if this little furnace right here, this little controller starts to burn like this. And then now we have our smeltery. We can put ores in here and we can double our ore. But considering that we have a special way to make more than double the ore, for each ore in dark craft we'll be using that system more often but there's a lot of stuff that can't be grinded up in there so we can definitely use this um let's see we will need more layers oh don't step in that there will be plenty of blood in there if i do let's see put that there and then i guess here let's fill these up for now there we go and there we go. So, next we will put our smeltery drain right here. And then we will put our sheared faucet here. And then right here, there we go. We will put our first cauldron. In order to make a cauldron, you put a bunch of seared bricks in this configuration. Casting basin. Actually, we won't need our casting basin just yet. We will need this. Same it's an upside down version of the casting basin with your bricks and you get casting table that's what we're going to be needing first so put that under the drain when we have a bunch of liquids in here so we can pour out into casts in here to make our thing so put that there and there now next thing is next we need lava in here so hum i shall do that in the next episode maybe but in the meantime put that in there maybe I can make some make some lava out of this so alrighty put that in there all right next thing I could show you guys is how you can speed up the growing process for these it's something called let's see there we go and I de and I'm going desperately need this because I'm running out of food to power my generator it is called um, a watering can. Oh, I already made one. Did I actually show you guys this before? Well, if I did, if I didn't, then I'm stupid. If I did, this is how it works. You just water these plants, and they just slowly and slowly get fasterly grown. Fasterly? Not really a word, but they just slowly increase the growth rate of all these seeds. And there we go, another, another seed for fire. I could probably make some lava here in this case if I do this long enough. But yeah, if you water the essences, it will grow them much quicker. And then if you water these plants as well, they'll start sprouting like crazy. See? Wow. Fast growth. So anyway, I think I will leave the episode there. We made our smeltery right here. We'll need some lava to power this. Um, we have our stencil tables here. I will show you in the next episode how to create your rapier, your amazing rapier, so we can replace this. But in order to make a really good one, we will need to make a special alloy called Manulium. It's a really sp weird spelling. Let's see if I can find it in here. Man. It's this purple stuff. Molten Manulium. Manulium. Really hard to say. Anyway, but in order to make this... Let's see if it tells you. Huh. There we go. We need Ardite and we need Cobalt. Guess where we find those two items? In the nether. 
So we're going to be taking another trip to the nether, the deadly, deadly nether, to make our epic, epic sword. And besides, we need to go back to the nether for more nether quartz, because that is the kind of thing that will make our sword amazing. And I'll explain to you in the next episode. So in the meantime, I'm going to play f sir, um, farm simulator for a little bit and just grow a bunch of crops. So until then, I shall see you later.